for no lover affair I'd sell you my soul just to get me somewhere What's it to do? Instead I'll tell No, I can't believe I live here now So I'm searching for cheap thrills Some way and somehow going on with Heart Racer? Well, she jumped in the vehicle at the last moment so we don't have her um, leash or collar, so we've, we've so improvised. she's got a, a paracord bracelet <laughs> and a bungee for a leash. <laughs> you do what you can, right? So young Jack's got his second ski lesson. Are you excited? Um, reasonably. Yeah? We got in on a homeschooling special, and so that means that Mom and I get to ski too. How are your new ski boots? They're okay, but can't put them in the video. How okay. come? Because they're girls. <laughs> I don't know if he's here. We'll find out. Ooh, those are tight. New, new ski boot. Uh, haven't been in them yet. The, fir the fitting for the first couple days is kind of excruciating. Ski boots need to be tight and so they you know they pack out so when you start you want them almost a size too small so not the best conditions today no but we're, our lessons are on our jack lessons are on tuesday so i learned to ski on this mountain Right there on that slope, right there. Used to be a rope tow there. The irony of it is when I started snowboarding, I think it was like 1987. I'm skiing today, but uh, snowboarding was illegal here. You couldn't ride. Uh, and then they opened one lift. I remember they used to call it the blue lift, which is right there. It was the only one you could snowboard on. And then of course, look how things have changed now. Probably 50% of, uh, Riders, well, maybe 40% uh, are on snowboards now, so kind of cool to see. So here's something that's new, it's kind of cool for beginners. It's a uh, covered tunnel with kind of a uh, an escalator type of thing in there, or magic carpet, I think they call it, where the kids can go up, have a little shelter during snowy days. You can see someone riding up right there. Supposed to be very sticky today. And everyone's recommending staying on the ground. I can imagine. Yeah. So uh, Jack's lessons are about to start. So this is a, a, a homeschooling special discount for homeschoolers. It's actually cheaper for us to come up and put Jack in lessons uh, than come up and buy three normal price lift tickets. Way cheaper. Like Way cheaper. Less than half price. Right. So any <laughs> and then we can ski for a couple hours. By ourselves. By ourselves. Faster. Faster. <laughs> <laughs> Look smart, but I don't care. I'm not looking for no love affair. I'd sell you my soul just to get me somewhere. What's it to do? Instead, I'll tell you. So the ski patrol office come a long ways. I, when I used to patrol in Colorado, uh -huh. our ski patrol shack was a, made out of plywood. It was about uh, four foot by six foot by eight feet. So you got a shack? Yeah, you could get two people in there and you couldn't stand up in it. Look at this. 
not bad. So this over here is kind of cool. So this is the, the toboggan that you use uh, for injured skiers. So it's got D-rings in the front and the back. And you train with that. Uh, you need to be able to get that, navigate that down the hill in any circumstance, any situation with any size patient in any condition. And they have that one over there, that tent too. Yeah, there's that one too. Come on, a coat. Come on. I can wear a coat that I'm putting those gloves on. You're making me cold just <laughs> looking this, at you. I had, this, I had this idea that I was going to not to. It's hard to use the video camera with the gloves on. I was going to do it without my gloves on. But How about a coat and no gloves? Um, it's windy. No, I think I'm okay. I'm just going to wear my summer gloves, my little ones. Maybe a hat? Hi. <laughs> Where's your helmet? I don't wear a helmet. I'm old school, like the old hockey players. They got grandfathered in. You should, you should wear a helmet. The ones that all have Alzheimer's now. I like your brain how it is. Uh, is that... Is that spray foam on your? <laughs> this this is the one you got on sale for like ten dollars, right? Ah, I think it was actually like three. Three dollars. I think I had all my coupons and. And so I, it was just supposed to be for work. I got spray foam all over it. It's kind of sad because I I really like it. It's comfy, isn't it? It's really nice. Not bad for three dollars. REI. I do what I can. All right, you ready? Yeah, let's go. Make this look good. <laughs> I love a bias crowd. I almost bit it because my skis were like, woohoo, woohoo, stick, stick, stick. I felt like somebody came up and grabbed my skis down there. Absolutely. I almost bit it hard twice. So this, uh, that last, those last two shots were shot with the three axis gimbal. Uh-huh. It'd be interesting to see what it looks like. I've never used it before. A video of the videographer. <laughs> so this is that three axis gimbal that I used on just coming down there. Very cool. It holds the camera. Uh, the phone, whatever, it's perfect, perfect angles all the time. We yeah. hope. We'll see. We'll see, yeah. It's totally crummy. It's, you know, like on the way up, the cover fell off. It was kind of a Chinese made <laughs> thing. But... I guess we should have skied under the chair lifts, huh? <laughs> no, we, Someone will find it in the summer. We might be able to find it when we go down there. So that's the funny thing is on the ski lifts, if you go, come up here in the summertime after the snow melts, you just find this cornucopia of ski items. Usually one glove, though, never a pair. <laughs> What's the chance of riding up with a, a subscriber? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do check out your website. <laughs> Oh, you want me to take my own poles? Oh, no, 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 I can take your poles. I just didn't know where I, we were going, babe. I can take them. So I lost my dead cat. Dead cat is... See my microphone there? That's the cover of the kind of the windscreen that protects it from wind. And I think I saw it on the lift line. <laughs> <laughs> in the or from the chairlift down there. Let's, we're gonna go down there and take a look and see if that's it. So I had to come down this really nasty, steep, cruddy bowl. But if you look down here, is that it? Where is it? <laughs> I think it's, can you see it? I think is it? I think that's a little black spot down there. I bet that's it. Let's let's go find out. <laughs> it's so funny. I'm quite confident my dead cat is right there. I can't believe how far it is away from the lift line. It's like. Uh, over like 150 feet or from the chairlift. Let's uh, let's go see. I hate to lose my cat. Oh, it is. I can't believe it. I never thought I'd see that again. <laughs> that is wonderful. They don't give dead cats away. 
<laughs> I can't believe I found it. Did you find it? <laughs> I did. <laughs> It was down the two bowl. Oh, good. It was good you didn't go down there. It was pretty cruddy. A little stuck, sticky? Yeah. Yeah. No longer petless. Good. So, you're a bit of a stickler for spelling. Punctuation, right? <laughs> you, you should never spell on camera. So, do you see the irony? Th these are your skis. Yes. How is that? Well, I can almost not ski on them. Well, that was a fun video to make. As I was uh, thinking about this yesterday, I wanted to try to bring my camera along and try to share what it's like um, to spend the day skiing. I know there's many of you who don't live in areas where you have skiing or just have never been able to do it, but it's a, ah, it's a wonderful, wonderful, very fun activity. I feel very blessed to have something drag you up to the top of the mountain and let you slide down and not have to hike up. It's, um, it's really nice. So... I've got a video for you. I think of all the videos I've made, this one has touched, I guess, more people on a personal level than almost anything I've ever done before. And I say that because I, I guess the volume of personal messages and letters that I've received from this, uh, the slew of, slew of Despond video. Um, it doesn't have a tremendous amount of views. Maybe it's, it was done several years ago, but um, I wanted to share that with you. If you haven't seen it, I think you'll enjoy it. It's um, kind of a discussion about the importance of self-reliance and and how to look at things and how to uh, get yourself out of out of difficulties and I, I think it can be applied to many difficulties and help kind of a, to having the proper mindset to overcoming challenges in, in our lives so I'll uh, share that with you if you're watching on mobile you know you can't click the picture uh, but on the top right is an icon you can click that now and that'll be a direct link over there as well as a subject heading box. Lots of great stuff coming up. Uh, we've taken just a couple days off the remodel and went skiing yesterday and it was nice to get out in the shop and do a couple axe videos and I've got uh, some more of that stuff coming up but also I want to remind you that uh, I'll be or the whole family will be in Belton, Texas in about what is it about three weeks or so. I'll be speaking at the Mother Earth News Fair and we'll have a ticket giveaway. We have a whole bunch of tickets that we'll give away to subscribers. We'll make that announcement pretty soon. Don't forget that uh, we'll have the um, our walk through the Bible. Uh, we're, uh, we'll be doing the Bible in 66. That will be uploading tonight. Mrs. W and I will be covering Genesis with the one question. What does the book of Genesis tell us about the character of God? So we invite you to that. Don't miss that. And I guess that's it. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And click the thumbs up. It's a way for you to... Uh, uh, show your appreciation for the channel and we appreciate it greatly and we'll see you guys on the next video.